day, the average heart moves over 6,000 quarts of blood through the body. And like all pumps, it can eventually wear out and fail. When that happens, it's called congestive heart failure. The term failure in this case means the failure of the heart to accommodate the normal blood volume and thus fluid volume in the body. And there are acute situations where someone suddenly becomes very short of breath or has excess fluid sometimes requiring hospitalization. It's estimated 5 million Americans are living with this condition. It typically develops slowly over time. The onset of congestive heart failure can sneak up on one. Often, unexplained weight gain accompanied by shortness of breath is the thing that tips you off that it's early congestive heart failure. Other times, people will suddenly notice that their energy level is down, that they have more swelling, or they're more short of breath. At the same time the number of deaths due to heart attacks is going down, the number of people with congestive heart failure is on the rise. Common causes are clogged arteries and high blood pressure. The overburdened heart muscle is unable to keep up with demand. The result is a backup of fluid. Signs a patient is in the trouble zone are swelling and rapid weight gain. And eventually, this can result in so much strain on the heart that the heart goes into dangerous or sometimes fatal irregular heart rhythms. The best way to prevent heart failure is to adopt a healthy lifestyle. Losing weight, limiting salt intake, and cutting out tobacco go a long way in keeping your heart strong. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.